Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at troubleshooting and uh, diagnosing problems. Now, you will almost certainly come up against issues with uh, McAfee Gateway. And they're going to kind of fall into probably three to four main areas. Uh, the first one is going to be it being blocked by a particular rule and you not knowing where exactly that rule is that's blocking a particular site. And we can use uh, the tracing tool to see what particular rule is actually causing a particular site to be blocked. The other kind of problem you're going to come across is the authentication. Uh, this is when a particular website doesn't have the ability to authenticate such as a web service or um, applications that use HTTP such as GoToMeeting, WebEx, that kind of thing, uh, Dropbox. The other is going to be using the SSL scanner. Some websites are just not going to like the fact that we're uh, hijacking that SSL connection and then recreating it. And then the final one, the worst kind of those ones are just the web page doesn't quite render properly, um, but you think the site's been released, but for some reason it's still not still not working properly. And so we can just look at how we can uh, get around each of these. So the first, uh, the first and easiest one um, about a website that's getting blocked and you don't quite know why. So let's uh, bring up our lab box um, and let's go to Facebook. Okay, Facebook is now being blocked and you know it's been blocked because in your URL filtering rules you have put social networking. So you go to your URL whitelist and you're going to add Facebook in here. And it's still being blocked. So why has it been blocked when we've uh, whitelisted it? To run a trace, the first thing you need to do is get the IP address of the computer that we're going to run the trace from. Okay, 192.168.0.69. We go over to the McAfee Gateway, select Troubleshooting, select Rule Tracing, and enter the IP address up here. And select Go. We then go to our computer that's having trouble, and we select Refresh. When we look on our trace here, we're going to see what's going on, and we can see here that the page has been blocked. So if we now stop the trace and select the Facebook with the block, on the right-hand side here, we can start to see all our rules and find out where it's been blocked. So we can start at the top, and we can see we're going to the common rules, and it's getting cached. Read down right. You can see the contents of the opener is reading it. We're going down to URL filtering, and we can see that the allow URL filtering is, uh, it's got a grey mark to it. So according to this, it should be allowing it through. So we scroll down a little bit further, and we can see a red icon here. And it says block URLs whose category is in the block list. So we go back to our rules and find what that is. We can see for some reason there's another rule down here. Now I've deliberately put this in as a quote mistake so that we could see what was going on. So the fact that we'd put up here um, in URL filtering the whitelist, as we know this only stops the rule set and the rule set means it's only gonna take effect within this rule set here. Now this rule set down here is gonna have no effect on it and the fact that we've got another category block list that has social networking is what's caused it to get blocked. And we can see that nice and easy, and it kind of just saves our time, saves some time. So what we can also do is this can be also stored um, as an XML to download and read. So if we look at our tracing files, we can see the Facebook XML. Now we double click that, we can actually uh, download this and review each detailed line exactly what's happening and it's, you'll see that this kind of XML does mimic what your rules are. You can see exactly what's happening and get you know, a great detail of exactly what the issue is. What you can also do is hit Analyze here, and the Analyze will then bring back the, the trace of what's going on. So this is quite good for being able to, sorry, tracing rules, to be able to download and send off to um, McAfee if you really can't figure out what the problem is because this will kind of show them all the kind of rules and where something's getting blocked. It's quite high level still 
And so it doesn't give you a huge amount of detail. So the next thing we're going to look at is Twitter. If we come over here and go to Twitter, okay, it's been blocked by social media. So we're just going to unblock just that, twitter.com. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back and look at my Twitter. So to find out what's going wrong here, we need to go back and look at the gateway. So there's a couple of things we can do. If we go back and have a look at the um, tracing, okay, we can see here that a website has been blocked while we are going to Twitter. And it's clear here, look, if you see Twit images clearly that they are uh, getting the pictures and maybe the style sheets from a di different location. So for whitelisting just twitter.com is probably not good enough. Um, so what we would need to do is also whitelist twitimage.com. I'd like to show you another way. So for instance, if that page wasn't showing correctly and sometimes you won't see up um, on this page it being blocked because it's really got into the uh, kind of in-depth um, maybe it's through JavaScript or something along those lines. So there's an even more in-depth way that we can look at what's going on. So what we would do is we would go to configuration and we turn on troubleshooting and we select enable connection tracing. Now it's important to remember that we um, turn this off once we finished because it does build up logs quite, quite quickly. So we click on there, hit save changes and we run the page again. We then go to troubleshooting and we would select uh, connection tracing. This will give us the HTTP requests um, from the source and the connection. So if we start at the top, we can see here, uh, this is just an initial connection. Okay, so we can see the Twitter page uh, being requested. And we're looking for URL blocked and there's no matches in there. We go down to the S, this is the return. So this is the return from um, the web clients back to the web browser. And we can see a lot of this is encrypted. Come to the next page and this is where we can start getting into the um, in-depth detail. We can see that it's requested this connecting to this, this uh, URL here. And if we do URL blocked, we can find that we found the URL blocked in here. So by searching these text files, we can see exactly what is being requested. And we can see that there's a problem with this being blocked. So if we take this domain, and go back to our URL filtering rules, and we add, We can see the full Twitter page has been rendered properly. And if we go back to our gateway, we can, if we're looking at our trace, we can now see that this has all been, uh, been released. And we can see by clicking on there, it's actually at this, URL, at this URL whitelisting is where it's been allowed through. And we can see here, for instance, Google Analytics has been blocked. So if we go back to our connection tracing and delete what we had before, minimize, we're going to see a lot more information now. So it's a connection to, I think, back from Twitter. And we can now see we've got the Twitter image and on that page, there is no further blocking Right, so we can find out, we've found out that um, 
for some reason the Twitter is calling Google Analytics. Well, that's probably not completely um, unexpected. And we can see that it was blocked. So these do give us that really in-depth um, analysis of, of what's going on. Um, and you know we can look into why it's getting blocked. Okay, so and there's a final log um, that we can look at, uh, and that's our user defined logs and our access denied log. If we look in here, scroll down, we can see that a few moments ago, you see the user James. This was getting blocked um, due to it being in the category block list. So we can see even in this log that it was being uh, blocked. And we can also see these Google Analytics as well. So we can see Google Analytics is getting blocked. Um, on internet service, social media. Quite, quite sure why Google Analytics would come up as that. But anyway, so we can see it is there. So we can see in lots of different places. We can see in the tracing logs, we can see it in the access logs, and we can see it in the connection tracing logs. We need to make sure that we turn the uh, connection tracing off once we have finished. So this gives you a good, uh, good number of locations that you can go to when trying to uh, analyze what's going wrong. Um, in terms of the other issues you will have, if, you need, if you're having problems where the logs are showing to do with authentication, then up in these rules here, we can put in uh, URLs that will bypass authentication. Uh, remember though that if it bypasses authentication, you're not gonna be able to track who's gone to that page. Uh, SSL scanner, as we've spoken about in the past, Again, under content inspection, you can add URLs to the whitelist there um, if there's any kind of problem with uh, with SSL certificates. You normally find these issues as to like hanging when logging on, etc. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it's been useful. I'm James Sillett and I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any comments or questions, you can contact me by any of the means shown below.